among those at that rally, one family forced to find refuge elsewhere. The Department of Homeland Security says more than 115,000 displaced Ukrainians have found homes here in the U.S. That includes one family who found a fresh start right here in Southwest Virginia. David de Guzman has their inspiring story. It's a story you will only see on WFXR News. Kathleen, a year ago, Ihor Mustavi and his family were vacationing in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia. They were days away from moving into their new house in their hometown of Bucha, Ukraine. Then Russia invaded their country, leaving Ihor, his wife Angelika, and their son Alex without a home. It was air bomb attack and uh, everything was destroyed. A lot of our friends, people who know, uh, they, they was killed, tortured and killed. <laughs> now we're here, uh, it's a really nice place, but sometimes at the night I wake up and I can't understand where I am. For Angelika Dikivska and her husband Ihor Mustave, the last year has been the longest day of their lives. Before the war, Angelika and Ihor were living a happy life in Ukraine with their son Alex. But as Russia invaded, the entire family traveled more than 4,500 miles over four days, eventually stopping in Portugal, where they tried to start a new life. I worked uh, on two jobs, uh, 19 hours per day without day off. I always say to him, we need to do something. We need to do something. We can stay in here. We, you see, we don't can uh, have a good job. But in Portugal, while working as a bartender, Ihor met Will Barquette, a Botetourt County native who was on vacation. This is the first time I met him. He just seemed like a really nice guy. And I just, I really, just hearing him talk about how they had just lost everything and how he was telling me about how they were struggling to make the, to make ends meet in Portugal and different things. And I, you know, I kind of told him, I was like, look, like we've got a lot going on here and I mean like it would be great if you wanted to come you know and um, come to America. The family spent nearly 10 months in Portugal but thanks to the help of Will and his family Angelica, Ihor and their nine-year-old son took a plane across the Atlantic Ocean and ended up here in Fincastle to start a new life away from the war in Ukraine. And I showed him a house and he said oh he said Daddy, is it true that we will have a house again? He was so happy about that. He knew what, what happens with our house. And he said, is it true? Yeah, they, 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 they made everything for us. So we basically had four weeks to get ready for three people and a house and outfit the house. And uh, I made lists, emailed them to area churches and everything that was on that list was provided. The community and the area churches have been so supportive. It's just great. I mean, they're really just extended family. You know, they're part of our family at this point. They're just so helpful, happy, uh, warm people. I guess we loved them before we really even met them. And, um, and they mean a lot to us. Angelica and Ihor plan on staying in Virginia for the long haul, but they also carry a hope of returning to Ukraine one day. I have a new dream. I hope when war is finished and everything is finished, and one day we can visit Ukraine together because I want to show them Ukraine is really beautiful. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's happening with me. We want to show how we live, but we happy. It's much easy. We can, you know, we can breathe. We can live. Reporting from the town of Fincastle in Botetourt County, David de Guzman, WFXR News. Now, both Angelica and Ihor have families still living in Ukraine, but they plan on planting roots in Botetourt County. You can read more of their story on our website, WFXRTV.com.